Next, the problem, splenic, survival instinct. Not safe. You think things are very, very scary and you're very fearful about your survival. So your mind holds on to people, places, and things that aren't healthy for you. So you get rigid and inflexible. Loosening up helps a lot here. So letting go of being scared and fearful for your material well-being, for your life's highest purpose, for you know um, life to be more perfect and more beautiful. There's so much responsibility here in the splenic center. If we don't you know, fight the good fight as far as struggle for our life to have the right meaning. It doesn't feel like it's worth it all because life is really painful. Have you noticed? It's really freaking painful. I'm an emotional person. That's my perspective. It's really challenging. It's a, it's a hard life, this life. It's not, not all of us are got the golden spoon. And even the people with the golden spoon, you know, they have their own problems. Everybody's got their own issues. They're all working through something. And that working through something, if you are holding on to things because of fear, so, you know, I remember hiding food when I was a child because I moved so many times. I was scared. We were on uh, welfare a lot of times, and I was scared that I wouldn't have food to eat for the longest time. That kind of fear sticks with you. When you start to steal food from the people that you're living with, you know, hiding little bars under your bed just in case you have to hit the streets and you don't have anywhere to go, homeless, you know, that kind of fear, that's fear that doesn't go away. It took a really long time for me to let go of that kind of fear. So how do we hold on to things that are healthy for us? Strategy and authority. Loosening up, yeah? Yeah. Take it a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more um, available to seeing through, penetrating through false evidence appearing real. real. They say face everything and run. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, drop everything and run. What is it? <laughs> I can't remember what it is. Face everything and rise is the one that I'm remembering. Okay. Going back to your own authority is the solution always. So Nina's saying, in your experience and awareness of this, have you noticed where you were that we're in not self and then it triggers other areas below? Is there a pattern or an order? Mm -hmm. I'm giving you the pattern right now. This is the hierarchy of the pattern. Okay. The pattern is generally. Now this can be, this is a basic template that we, um, it will change depending on where the person's incarnation crosses, I've noticed. But at this point, you're going to get the most bang for your buck without trying to analyze everything by just going in this order. Okay? So this is the pattern. Okay? First, we have trying to prove one's values and one's worth. Then we have because you're emotional. Then we have the identity, love, and direction, always looking for love and direction. Then we have the fears, the splenic survival fears. Okay? 